When I bought this property 100 acres 22 years ago, it had no driveway. It was just a big cattle pasture on both sides. It had a grown-in forest, still has that. 63 acres was pasture, which I eventually got plowed up for crops, which was wheat last year. And my dozer created this farm. Made all my driveways, all those awesome five kilometers of trails we have that we ride through the forest, all the jumps and bumps around the pit and all that stuff. And the pond, yeah, the farm didn't have a pond or anything. Everything was created with that dozer and then the backhoe was used for fine-tuning it and just doing the final work. That's why I bought the old dump truck too because, well, I had to take gravel out of my retired gravel pit and put that on my driveways too and bury rocks and dig rocks out and dig stumps out. It was quite a job. It was the biggest part of my lifetime project making this place. So that's why I've got that old heavy equipment. Oh yeah, and there's the Alice Chalmers front-end loader. Because I had a dream when I seen this place and I bought it like right away. I wanted to create what is David's Farms today, just for my own personal hobby. Then YouTube came along and made it famous, <laughs> made it popular, and inspired lots of other people. Too bad farms are so expensive now. I had never even operated a piece of heavy equipment in my life, not even sat on one when, until I bought this old junk and fixed it up. Everything's been a learning experience from there and managed to fix everything myself. Sweet. I'm on top of Sky Hill looking down on creation. Well, the pond anyways, just this is a valve update, how it's working. The pond's up to the right level now. Beach is, of course, much smaller. I may have to adjust that orange slide. It's sagged over the years. It used to sit just above the water level on the island. Looks like almost like a trailer park now. You can't see them all summer behind the bushes. Another point of view. Moments ago, there were three ducks in the dock that were bred and raised here. Well, remember the valve that I built, the new one this year that works by overflow? The water is right up at the top. If you look on the right, there's that little lever you pull to drain the pond if you want. It's spring-fed, so the water is just starting to flow in there and all that mesh is just so that the drain doesn't ever get clogged up. So everything's just at the right level. Another point of view, you can see where those trailer park boys live and hang out. Island. You can see the underwater road that goes through there so we don't have to get very deep and wet when we go to the island or drive to the island. Sky Hill. Beach. Trampoline. And where all the trailer park boys hang out, drink and have a good time with their beachfront view. Sweet. Oh, and the old Yorker, I'm, or New Yorker, whatever you want to call that piece of shit. Cool, beautiful. You can see it right from Google Earth. Beach and all that fun stuff is here. Chairs that I sit on the hill and watch the sunsets are up there. 35 foot hill, highest hill around. And there's where the rest of the action happens and all the creations that I build and the mighty dozer that made David's farm what it is today. Awesome. And now off to Catnip Mountain. Kind of a garden. There she be. Had a few problems this year, but oops. Shut her down. But anyways, should be called Ragweed Mountain, there's so many ragweeds. Got overtaken first by white mustard plants, then yellow mustard plants, but I yanked all those all out. Now it got overtaken by ragweed. But we do have some crop. Lots and lots and lots of catnip, of course, as it is Catnip Mountain. All that stuff is catnip. Lots of pumpkins starting to turn orange. All through there. There's big green ones too that haven't turned color. There's various different kinds of squashes. We've already been eating some of them. Yellow zucchini. All kinds of stuff. One of the other problems we had this year is these millions of little mini beetles that eat all the flowers and then the 
plants can't produce. I come up here almost every day and spray my garden with Raid to kill those little fuckers. There's a flower that's partly chewed up, but they eat the flowers right down to nothing. There's one of the squashes. It's got two or three different kinds. Some are really good. I guess they're all really good. Oh, there's some mature catnip. Mmm. Pepperminty. Yeah, there's some of those dead little fuckers that I already sprayed. Where the hell did they come from? All of a sudden, three weeks ago, the garden was just inundated with little mini beetles chewing everything, and all the time before that, it wasn't one of them. I don't know what caused them to find this place. Well, so now you're updated on two things that have nothing to do with automotive. That we enjoy at David's.